The following video is for informational purposes only. Proceed with the suggested repairs at your own risk. This video is part of a comprehensive 11 chapter series detailing single venous service. Servicing venous requires special tools. The seasoned BMW techs at Bomb Tools will help you choose the right tools for the models you work with, whether it's a single or double venous on a BMW or any other European car you're repairing. The Bomb Tools guys have it, or know where to get it. German Automotive Special Tools since 1959. That's all we do. Now let's join Angelo Campana for an excerpt from his Single Venos Service Seminar. Now, remove the valve cover. There are your 11 valve cover mounting bolts and washers. Remove the ground straps and brackets to it also. Now, here's a tip. On the M52, the ground straps are at cylinder 1 and 6. On the M50 model engines, including the TU version, it has a ground strap at only cylinder 6. And by the way, don't forget to remove those four valve cover mounting bolt studs with washers and grommets at the center of the valve cover. And those pesky rear nuts, studs, bolts, whatever because they're kind of hidden out of the way, and I've replaced many a valve cover because a shop attempted to pull that valve cover and didn't notice that there were those three in the back. Uh, needless to say, when they stuck their pry bar under that valve cover because they thought the gasket was sticking, snap, went the valve cover. You're going to remove the vent hose at the cover, right front corner, this is an example of an M52. There's an example of an M50. Just pry up that little retaining clip and pull off the connector. Now, don't be a gorilla when removing these hoses, as I'll guarantee you they're probably brittle due to the heat. I, for one, I used to replace them just for GP because if this is, let's say, the first time that's ever been moved, that's going to explode in your hands. So keep a note on that. Uh, once that's accomplished, Remove the coils. Place the coil harness aside from the valve cover. Now, disconnect the coils on the electrical harness. For each coil, pull up on that coil connector metal lock and pull off the cable to the electrical connector. Number the coils. I've always had a habit of doing that because if you happen to scan this car and had some misfire codes, at least you got an idea where to start after the the engine is back together. So just cover your six for that. Now on the M52 engine, remove the coil harness ground wire from that valve cover stud located between coils two and three. And again, maintain the coil cylinder association. Because when you scan this car, if it does pull up misfire codes, it's gonna be a valuable aid in determining where the issue is. By the way, you, you do scan the entire vehicle before performing any kind of work, right? I hope so. So here's a tip. M50 and 50TU, the coils are held in place with nuts. On the M52 engines, coils are held in place with bolts. Hmm, guess what kind of engine this is? So once all that's done, wrestle off that valve cover, but ever so gently with the gasket scraper. Though, before you do, you might want to take the time to just make sure that all those valve cover bolts, studs, and ground straps are removed. And here's another thing. Blow out the spark plug holes. Yeah, there is a method to my madness. Just blow out the spark plug holes. If some idiot previously installed a gasket with Gorilla Glue instead of RTV silicone, have fun, but be patient. Plasticized rubber gaskets tend to blow apart in a million pieces, and usually those pieces drop inside the head and make a mess of the entire oil system. So be patient. Another thing, the rear cover perimeter half moons dip. Due to usually excessive gluing, it's usually very uncooperative. So again, take your time. You're going to replace the gasket anyway. So remove the intake cover and then pull the intake camshaft cover, that plastic unit above the intake camshaft. Pull up the release clips, get it out of the way from the engine bay. 
Once you've done that, you've got that. And now we can start to remove the venos. Thanks for watching. This video was brought to you by BTU Service Solutions, a division of Bomb Tools Unlimited, Euro Diagnostic Resources, and Euro Auto Training. We are focused on helping you and your auto repair business thrive. We're eager for your feedback, your comments, and your suggestions. Send us an email, comments at eurototraining.com.